So joining me now is Craig Pearson, Sales and Marketing Director at Your IT Department. Uh, there are 20 plus strong MSP uh, based here in the UK, up in the Midlands. And uh, well, Craig and I have had the pleasure, I've had the pleasure of working with Craig and his team um, on and off in a number of different guises for the last uh, two or three years. And I have got Craig on the line here today to pick his brains for 10 minutes uh, to talk all things customer service. And Craig, the reason... Uh, I, uh, I've sort of nabbed some of your time here is because, um, well, I spotted your IT department uh, won an award uh, last month, I think it was fairly recently. Uh, tell me all about it. Um, well, we won the um, Excellence in Customer Service Award um, at the Natural Entrepreneurship Awards, um, which you've got to be very careful about how you say. <laughs> Um, which is um, it's for businesses across the East Midlands and um, that particular one uh, they run these kind of throughout the country there's there's a West Midlands one and they do a national one as well um, based down in London called the Signature Awards um, and we were actually nominated for, for this particular one rather than just kind of applying ourselves so it was a partner that we'd, we'd worked with a little bit and they put us forward for it and said we think you'd be you know, you, you do well in this one. Um, and then we had to put an, an application forward for it. Um, we were shortlisted and um, and we and we won it. So, yeah, it was a, it was a really good night. I, I, I had a feeling we were going to do well the moment I um, poured my, uh, my first course of my dinner down the front of my shirt and thought I'm going to have to go up and, and be photographed now with, with a, a chickpea curry down there. <laughs> <laughs> white dress shirt so um yeah that was the moment i thought oh no we're, we're definitely in with a chance now <laughs> fantastic fantastic i mean there's there's some skepticism around awards i see you know sometimes you and you've sort of just addressed it actually because quite often you can just sort of pay your way in but mm. you're obviously nominated um you know why are they why are awards so important you know for, for you as a business or, or perhaps even for your for your team as well i think for, for us um there, there's probably about two or three reasons for it. Um, firstly, it's it's to get an external opinion of what we're doing and some some external kind of justification. We think we're doing well, but, you know, to, to go up against people from, from different um, industries is, is useful for us. Um, it, it just gives you an idea that you're doing something right in that kind of facet of the business. Um, for me, with a, with a marketing hat on um, here, the PR opportunities, the networking opportunities are, are really good with these things, tend to be people that are, um, are very well connected, that, that do these kind of things. And the, the actual evenings themselves are a networking opportunity. But I think the other one is, and, and a big one for us, it's, it's a recognition of the work that the guys are doing day in, day out for us. Um, and, and just looking at it, it's, we look deliberately at the customer service categories um, because that's what we do on a on a day to day basis, uh, and that's what we're telling our, our staff is really important. And so, to get that external recognition of that is 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 fantastic for us because it's not just us then saying customer service is important and customer service is a thing that you've got to concentrate on. It's actually getting that little bit of of, of external um, sort of feedback on that and and. Um, and, and justification that that really is that it is the right way to be going about things. I, I agree. I, sometimes I, uh, I think, uh, you know, teams are blissfully unaware of what clients and you know, customers are thinking about them and um, uh, slightly off the conversation here. But I mean, this, this is something I came across in, in, in literally in the last week. Uh, and I was filming a bunch of testimonials uh, uh, over in Ireland as it happened. I've done this a few times recently uh, for an MSP client and, my promise to uh, my client was that their team or the, the owner at least would see the full uncut, you know, so it might be a 15, 20 minute interview. And whilst that would never make it onto Vimeo or YouTube or whatever, uh, that would normally only be a couple of minutes for the whole team to actually see the full discussion that I as a sort of an independent was having with a client is so valuable. Um, mm -hmm. And I've, I've since had feedback just to say, look, thanks, you know, because people you know, not necessarily aware of what's going on. So I, I know exactly what you mean about having that sort of external validation. Um, mm. uh, look, this is this is a, a, perhaps an obvious question, Craig. I don't know, but what? Why did you win? Why do you think you won anyway? Um, 
I I actually think um, MSPs have an advantage in these kind of things in that we collect a huge amount of data and feedback. Um, and I'm, I'm sure it's not just us. Um, and what that does is when, when you're actually putting these applications together, you've got a lot of factual data to back up what you're saying in the application. So you, you've got to tell a little bit of the story about the business and about how it works and, and how we work with customers. Um, and we've got a, a really good CSAT rating. It's been up around the 99% um, sort of score for, for the last couple of years. That sounds fantastic. But when you can then back that up by saying that that's over you know, five and a half thousand separate surveyed interactions and you can actually give the number of negative and neutral reviews and you can sort of go into that with, with a little bit more detail around that. And I don't think there's probably many industries where, where you do that many kind of reviews. Every ticket that we close gets a review. We know we get roughly one in four, one in five of those back. Um, and then we can back that up again. We've, we've got public reviews. We've got case studies. We've got testimonials on our um, on our website as well. So there's an awful lot of evidence there that actually backs up what we're what we're saying. Right. So it's not just us talking about it. There's some really good facts and figures. I I, I think um, having that sort of quantifiable evidence is is absolutely huge. And, mm. and we'll perhaps come onto this in a moment. But you know, not just for external awards, but Potentially even for the sales process here, let, you know, let, yeah. let's be honest, it's, it's hugely important. Mm. So you've got some uh, tremendous evidence about how well you're doing as a team. Why, Craig? Why do you think you're doing so well? You know, I know how much of a focus you've put on customer service over the last two, three years. And I guess, is it, is it fair to say you, you, you made a conscious effort to try and differentiate uh, by going down this path? Don't give away all your secrets, but <laughs> so tell me about that focus that, that you've had, you know, very much ongoing one as well. Yeah, I, I think it's just um, about what, five or five years ago or so, more people came into the business from outside of IT, myself included. Um, and I think we very much picked up very quickly that it's not a technical business. It's, it's a it's a customer service business. Yes. Um, and I'm not saying that, that that wasn't known before, but there's when you're an IT person and when that interests you, there's there's that um, desire to get involved in the technical elements of it. Um, we were very much it's all about customer service, and um, and so I think that that's helped us change that focus a little bit to to recognise that if we don't have customer service sitting at the very very highest levels, then we're not going to have a business. Um, that. What, we, what we've done with that is as we've recruited, we've actually now, we've, we've got a training program, which includes, um, and, I, and I am going to mention it, Help Desk Habits, um, because we, we found that course is, is extremely relevant to, to what we do. Um, so every engineer now does that. We incorporate the Help Desk Habits stuff into our team meetings. So we go back over it um, and we refresh that knowledge. And we've tried to make it as important to, to the individuals working here as the technical skills. Uh, and, and so when we're actually looking out and, and we're going and recruiting, we're looking for personality as much as the, the, the technical side of things. I hear that a lot. I hear that a lot. And that, that also, I guess, helps with the, the skill shortage. If you can uh, change the, the target, I guess, of, of, of the folks that you're, that you're looking to bring in. Um, and a lot of people I talk to say, look, you know, we, we'll hire on personality and we'll train on the technical side of things. Does, yeah. does that really work? Yeah, I think, I think it does. Uh, it's very, very difficult to, to teach confidence and, and empathy and, and those kind of skills um and and let's face it in our industry people very rarely phone up and go hi guys everything's working great <laughs> wouldn't that you, be nice you, yeah <laughs> so you, you've got to be able to deal with those people that are you know potentially angry upset worried that they've lost something um and and scared that they're then you know that they're the meeting that they've co coming up in five minutes is going to be a total washout and it, yes so it, it fundamentally affects their business so it's really quite difficult to teach those skills and i think if people have got them um then teaching the technical side is 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 relatively easy i guess you've got to have some nows on that kind of thing um 
that you wouldn't be able to teach me, for example. But um, but you know we can put those technical skills in place if you've got that that confidence and that that right kind of personality. Sure. So you you we open this up talking about the sort of the quantitative side of things. You know, you've done a huge amount mm-hmm. of measurement. If we talk about some of your existing customers from a qualitative perspective, yeah. you know, just just. You know, the word on the street, the vibe that as my daughter would, you know, she uses that word all the time. Uh, how how have they uh, reacted uh, to this focus that you put on 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 looking after them? Can can you really see the, the sort of the, the, the benefits coming through? I think what our customer retention figure is 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 really high. Um our existing customers are, are spending more with us than they ever have done before. And that's okay. The, a, a good indicator that we that we're doing something right um it's also a, a little bit more intangible but i think our relationships with them have improved um they're more willing to give us feedback um they're far more willing to, to allow us to go out film them for case studies yeah they're the testimonials that they'll sign off and actually to recommend this to other businesses that they work with as well. So uh, our number of referrals that we're getting from our existing client base has definitely improved as, as we put that higher focus on customer service. I think that's huge. Uh, I, I, I couldn't agree more. It's a real testament to the relationships that you've created when people are happy to sit in front of camera, uh, you know, because that's yeah. one of the biggest asks that you, that you can do for, for a client. And I, I think that's fantastic. Uh, final question for you as well. How would you say that this ethos and this vast wealth of, of numbers that you've, you've created behind you, how does that feed into to new business? Do you use some of these uh, resources as, as part of your sales process? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, from the award, we've had some some great PR. I mean, I've been to a couple of network networking events recently where people didn't know me, but they now know your IT department. They've they've heard of us, and that's come that's come through the social media, through the news articles. Uh, it's a it's a really good conversation starter for us. Um, but we've got it on our website. We've got some of these facts and, and figures on our website. We've got reviews on our website. We've got testimonials on our website. Um, we put them into the presentations that we do with, with new prospects. So we're really, really using it. I mean, it's definitely, for me as a, as a, as a marketing director, it's much more powerful a marketing message for somebody else to be saying we're great at customer service than it is to have us saying it. Um, so yeah, we, we we really do try and, and use it wherever we can um, to try and get that message across. Craig, uh, you you uh, a man after my own heart. I couldn't agree more on that front. There's there's way too many uh, of us in our industry that that like to talk about. Uh, I guess you know, how brilliant we think we are. There is nothing finer than other people saying it. Um, so look, mm-hmm. I really appreciate your time today. Congratulations on the award. Thank and, you. And uh, continued success. Thank you very much. Cheers.